about what is one of the issues that is impacting black youth today? Well, I think intergenerational trauma, and most folks don't have a plan to really talk about it. They keep secret, they keep quiet, and things come up. Hey, it's Dr. Earl, founder and executive director of Therapy for Black Kids. I am here at the Association of Black Psychologists Convention, and I'm going to talk to a couple of people about how does their work support Tell us, black uh, people? Who you are. Uh, I'm Brandon Gamble, and um, I'm a school psychologist by training. But yeah, yeah, here at ABCI. Right. So tell us about what is one of the issues that is impacting black youth today? Well, I think intergenerational trauma and most folks don't have a plan to really talk about it. They keep secret, they keep quiet and things come up and they're wondering why they're not making the connection. So I think that's the biggest thing that everybody in the village can support young people with the truth and consistency. Right. So what is how does your work help support uh, black youth? Well, right. Up in the black <laughs> yeah, yeah. I work at Cal State University San Bernardino, and before that I was at San Diego State, but my area is black student success. And so a large part of that is making referrals to mental health services, and I presented about that here at ABCI. Um, and those referrals to mental health services don't necessarily come from the so-called adults who work at the university, but it comes student to student, talking about the issues in the way that they want to talk about them. So they make up paint talk groups where they sit around and paint, but also talk about various issues. Or they have healing circles that they've developed, but within those healing circles, they do everything from our sisters' healing circles, um, making flowers and giving those to folks, or LGBTQ, black space or black with a Q for queer folks. That space also talks about, you know, ways in which they can support one another if families um, tend to reject them or other pieces. And, or they just reach out and say, let's just have fun and let's be who we are authentically. Um, and then our Black Men's Warriors Collective, I ask them to set everything down and just be for a moment mm -hmm. and appreciate and affirm one another. So those are some of the examples of ways in which young people at the university do it, but these are ways in which I did it at the high school when I was a school psychologist full-time. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us. Yes, glad to do it.